This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. I have seen all of your comments. There is a bunch of new people here on the channel and it has been months since I've done any sort of manga collection update. And I've got a lot of manga since the last one that's been up on the channel. If you're like me, I'll watch like manga shopping vlogs, hauls, collection videos, and it always puts me in the mood to buy manga. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving away a full set of summertime rendering, the hardcover editions. This will be a worldwide entry and we'll have details later on in the video. But without further ado, Okay, and kicking things off, the model kit right behind me and the whole One Piece moment. These are things I probably get asked the most about on the channel. I got the YouTube button over there and the Twitch button over here, even though I don't really stream on Twitch anymore, but <clears throat> we don't talk about that. I've always felt that our manga collections are like a direct reflection of what we're into and that we want to represent physically in our homes. So for me, in order to achieve this, I really wanted to, at least in my collection, to have One Piece in a meaningful way and also the thing I do the most, which is content. So as you can see, we have you know some of the YouTube representation here. So we've talked about the model kit, and now let's talk about the manga. This is all four of the box sets that are currently out right now, starting from volume one all the way back here, and uh, all the way up to volume 90, which is the first thing in Wano, or the first volume in Wano. In the corner right here, I also have two of the Aces light novels. Now, I do have a whole light novel shelf, which is dedicated for them. However, I felt like these light novels should just go with the one piece collection that I have going on. What I'm really worried about is what happens when the next box set comes out. Okay, it's it, everything's gonna get thrown off. But once again, just like a lot of you guys, I'm reorganizing my manga collection constantly. So I'll figure it out then. For all those people that are always asking if I ever read Shoujo or Jose, may I direct you to the romance shelf. Okay, starting in the back, okay? Yona of the Dawn, a bunch of volumes here. This is a classic shoujo series coming out of Shoujo Beat. This was probably one of my first romance series that I absolutely fell in love with, and it's so adventure-filled. I highly recommend, if you're looking for like a grand adventure that leans heavy into the romance and a lot into character development, it's so freaking good. Check out Yona of the Dawn. The anime is also incredibly well done, in my opinion. Moving quickly along, we have Maid Sama. I don't understand the hate on Made Sama. I thought that this was a fine series, okay? Yeah, it's a little cheesy, it's a little tropey, but you know what? I Call me a goober. I like I like that stuff. I really do like that stuff. This is complete, so I have all of the omnibuses, which are right here. Moving on next here, I have Hori Mia. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven volumes of Hori Mia. I go out vlogging a lot. Okay, you can watch the vlogs on my channel. There's a whole playlist. I'll link it down below in the description box. So I talk to a lot of people while out shopping and what are they shopping for? That's like kind of the most common question I ask when I bump into someone. And I've heard time after time after time there are people looking for Nana. There has recently been a bunch of reprints for them. It's a great time to start collecting and reading Nana. I just wish we would get an end to this story. There's also a lone volume of Arakawa Under the Bridge. That's down over here. I can't talk about it. I haven't opened it up yet. Apothecary Diaries. I freaking love this series if you get one romance recommendation from me right now with the romance that's currently ongoing check out either the light novel which is the source material for these or the manga which is also incredibly well done for the apothecary diaries i think there's even going to be an anime for this one it's so freaking good moving on over we have snow white with the red hair this is a series that i really recommend to people so i don't know if this is overrated underrated from my side of youtube i don't hear a lot of people talk about snow white with the red hair a lot so to me it seems underrated i don't know anything about the shoujo community like i said before but it's a really good series that's what i do know for sure next is a slow burn romance okay this is mason ikoku done by rumiko takahashi it's so good. This is not a romance where it's like fiery, passionate love. Okay, now while that is fun for those of us that have experienced that before in our life, this is a relationship blossoming from all sorts of different situations. Some dark and some really heavy stuff is, is going on in this series. And I really enjoy that because the characters are a little bit older and a relationship takes a long time to build. Sometimes it can start quickly, but it takes a long time to build uh, love between two people, especially two adults that have been through some stuff or are going through some stuff. And I very much like it. It's lighthearted at times, but it's incredibly well done. It's a classic for a reason. It's been released several times physically. These are the Viz Collector's Editions, and they are just, they're beautiful. And so is this series. I recommend it. Okay. 
Fruits Basket. These are the collector's editions, complete 12 volumes put out by Yen Press. I have my first webtoon that I've ever bought. This is called Let's Play. Oh, I gotta sit down. Let's talk about this shelf. Now, starting things off right here, this was sent to me by Yen Press, and this is the recently reprinted the entire collection for Higurashi. A ton of volumes though. I've only read a couple of them. I gotta start reading some more of them, I'll be honest with you. If we were to go in the back here, this is Grand Blue Dreaming. I think I have 14 volumes of Grand Blue Dreaming behind me. I think it's a great series, especially as summer is quickly approaching. It's not for everyone, but for those of you that get this sort of humor that happens in this series, it's charming, memorable, and just really fun to read. And it's great to read during the summer, which is quickly approaching. Although today is really cloudy and raining off and on. Now, moving on even further is Wotakoi. Love is hard for otaku. I've talked about this series so much on the channel. This was one of the first romance series that hit me really hard because I discovered manga and became an otaku. Uh, while I was in my corporate phase, you know, I was a corporate Andy for a, like the beginning part of my adventure. Sweetness and Lightning is such a charming series. Okay, I actually need to continue reading it. I've stopped. How many do I have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven volumes. It is so cute. Watch the anime to see if this is something you'd be into. Shout out to all the single dads out there. This follows the story of a single dad trying to raise a small little girl of his own and trying to connect with her through food because the mother through a tragic series of events is really not in the picture and it's for someone my age as well it's a darn good read and i highly recommend it okay it's actually you know what this is a good reminder i gotta continue reading this dang series you know i gotta make a freaking note okay so behind these volumes is inuyasha right here now i bought this for pure nostalgic reasons i don't really plan to buy the rest of inuyasha i'll be honest with you i just wanted i have very fond memories of watching inuyasha when i was younger with my little brother i really wanted to just have a memento for those memories to like when i see this volume i am physically remembering those memories that's the story of why i bought inuyasha moving on over naoki urasawa we have volume one of pluto this was a gift also a kodansha series called life lessons it's really good i don't think i would continue to buy any any more of it physically, but I've heard a lot of you guys really do enjoy this series. Once again, this one was a gift as well. Let's zoom in actually, all right, right over here. We have Sergeant Frog, nostalgia series for me. I have way more volumes. Actually, I put these here just because I have to organize them a little later. <laughs> I was a little late. And then another romance series here called My Love Story. I freaking love, I freaking love this series. It's so cute. I will own all of it eventually. Uh, some of the volumes are a little difficult to find though, so just FYI on that one. And then here in the corner, we have Case Closed. This this was also sent to me. I have no intention of collecting all of Case Closed, man. I already have one piece. I don't need another series that has so many freaking volumes and that is ongoing, but I do at least have one volume of Case Closed in my collection. We've gone over this entire shelf right here. This is one full bookcase. So we've gone over all of the box sets, the one piece moment, okay? The display case, the all of the volumes here, the romance shelf, we've gone over Higurashi and everything over there, except for this bottom volume. Okay, that bottom volume is all giveaways. I'm either gonna sell some of those or give away everything that's on that one. So we really don't need to cover what's going on down there. So now we're gonna be going in this general direction. This is actually one of my favorite shelves it's basically a bunch of Viz Media stuff, okay? But I just love how it looks. Everything's uniform, it's nice. It just, oh, the collector in me is like, this is so fun to look at. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box with up to 20 snacks directly imported from Japan. The theme for this month is called Osaka Snackation. Okay, whoever is curating this month's box, they have my heart, okay? They have my favorite Kit Kats here, which is the chocolate orange Kit Kat, and they're giving me chocolate bread bites. I freaking love these. But Boogie, I'm looking for more traditional flavors in Japan. Don't worry, Sakura Co got you covered. Sakura Co offers up to 20 Japanese snacks which support local Japanese snack makers. Okay, this is Honey Apple Mochi from Hokkaido. In every monthly box, Sakura Co includes a tableware item and this month is this cute little microwavable safe dish. Each of these boxes have an included guide booklet which serves as a companion while trying out these snacks. It gives detailed background information on what you're eating and also offers important allergy information as well. I'm gonna try these chocolate little bread snacks here. If you want to try these, uh, of course the links to both Sakura Co and a Tokyo Tree will be down below in the description box. Oh my God, they look like cute little chocolate breads. Look at that. They're soft and chocolate. Oh, dude, these are dangerous. 
And we're gonna start here in the top. This is One Punch Man, one to five, love it. Free Rin, Fry Rin, however you guys call it. Really sad series, a really good series though. Very much enjoyed it. We'll read the rest digitally. Burn the Witch. I think I saw recently that we're gonna get more Burn the Witch. That's freaking dope, dude. Uh, okay, next is Hunter Hunter. Now I will collect, for those of you that are wondering, I will collect all of Hunter Hunter. Moving on over, Chainsaw Man in its entirety. Been there, done that. We all know Chainsaw Man. Yakitate Japan. Mm, this series is so good. This would be the Food Wars before Food Wars, except it revolves around a baker. Start with the anime, so charming. You're gonna kill me, but hear me out. Uh, Sakamoto Days, phenomenal. Some of the best choreographing I've ever seen in a manga. Really funny as well. Beautiful art. I'm just okay with reading it digitally, man. I'm in that era where it's like, we're gonna be a budgeting king right now, okay? <laughs> I have some traveling that's coming on. This is one that I'm okay, can I could read all the visit up right now though. <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm sorry, I had to go get a little tripod because your boy had so much caffeine, my hands were shaking, dude. Okay, anyways. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm literally three cups of coffee deep into this filming here. Okay, so moving on over, we have Slam Dunk, as you can see here. Let me try it if I can focus, see if I can focus in on that, all right? Slam Dunk. Okay, boys, where do we start with this one? Um, I'm gonna read all of it. Probably will collect all of it for right now, but it's not a priority. If you're a collector, you probably understand what that means. You sort of buy these series in their entirety in your head, right? Uh, and you know that you'll collect it at some point, but that point is not right now, okay? So moving on over, we have Dr. Stone, okay? Five volumes. In fact, I have more volumes of this right now, but this was all that could fit so that it looks nice and neat for you guys. Undead Unluck. Such a freaking good series. This is one that um, I went from reading digitally to a friend gifting me these series to now I'm going to buy all the volumes, okay? Cross game. Please make this easier to collect. I'm begging you, please. Uh, I really want to buy the rest of this series, but some of the volumes are just so gosh darn difficult to collect. Eventually I'll own all of them, but that eventually is nowhere near now. So yeah, I'll pick up one by one by one when I see an opportunity and a good price, okay? Yu Yu Hakusho in its entirety. How good does that freaking feel right now to say? All right, this is all the volumes. So volume one over there, which is not even. Okay, what the heck? Why is it not even? So volume two, all the way to 19. Boom, feels really good. One of my favorite Shonen series. Gintama, if anyone from Viz is watching this, okay? Guys in the comments, help me out down below. We want reprints and we would love to see this actually finished. There we go. All right, we've done the begging for Gintama. We're gonna move along. Great comedy series, uh, really lovable characters. If you haven't checked out the anime, at least start there, okay? Hikaru no Go. I have a bunch of volumes for Hikaru no Go. If you've seen any one of my vlogs, you know my journey with collecting this series. You can read this on the Viz app. Okay, or the, the jump app, the Viz app. They're, they're two different, you know what I'm talking about. So this is the sign. A lot of people ask me about the sign. This is my custom boogie snack sign. I really wanted to, the goal was when I made this collection was to not only have a place to store all of my manga, but to once again, sort of like, it be a, a little bit of like my personality. I wanted to inject a little bit of who I am, like not only as a creator, but as a manga collector, a manga reader, a fan, just who I am in general in my past. So this is this is my custom neon sign. Now we've made use of the space now since the last time, I've since I've made a last manga collection video. There is actually manga back here. So I thought it'd be really cool to fill this empty space. It used to be all black and I loved that aesthetic for it. But now I can fill this up with space. So I have like some stray volumes here. The number one thing I do want to call out is I have some more Gintama volumes back here, some more Hunter Hunter volumes back here, and a ton of non non Diori, which is such an underrated. I don't know if it's underrated. I'm not going to say it's underrated, but it's a slice of life I wish I wish I heard talked about more. It's so freaking good. We've made it to the center shelf, and this will probably remain center shelf even if I reorganize my entire collection. The two things that would probably stay the same are the one piece stuff right here in the back and the center display shelf, which is my Doro. Hidoro moment. What do I have? Okay, so all of the volumes, all the way up to 23, they're all here. All right, so of course I have the series completed. Uh, then I have the Gyoza Fairy in the box, which is uh, right here as well, just to have, it's a character from the series. If you've read it, you read it, just to have some physical representation. Uh, and then at Anime Expo 2019, okay, I have the uh, character book, which is right here. It's a Japanese character book and uh, the official art book as well. And I believe that's everything you can get for Doro Hidoro. I could be wrong, but I I believe that's 
everything you can get. This is one of those shelves where I do have a little bit of room to grow here in the corner. There's nothing right here in the, in, on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, but of course you can see here, there is Vinland Saga, all 13 volumes that are out right now. And with the second season of the anime out currently at the time of recording this video, this is such a great time to get into Vinland Saga. Moving right along, we have the psychological thriller that is Monster. And this is a classic for a reason. The best word that describes Monster to me is one I've already said in today's video, which is slow burn. This series takes a while to get going, but once it gets going, it is such a crazy ride. I, I highly recommend Monster. The first works from Makoto Yugimura is up here called Planet Test. It's two omnibuses. It's a sci-fi. It's interesting. You can tell it's his first work. Time to bring the leg up. This is Breaker all the way back in the corner. Okay. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me about, well, I lied. A lot of you guys used to ask me about Breaker when it was first starting to come out. I have volume one. I don't see the need to buy the rest physically. This is something, you know, we are in our budget era here on the channel uh, as I save up for traveling and just future content here. I think that it would be something I would read digitally. I no longer have to collect it physically. Solonin, Inio Asano. If you are at a place um, or like an office job, especially that you just don't like and you're not content with life and where you're at, or maybe you're young and you, you don't know where to go or what direction where to go and you're just working a whatever job, which is totally okay. Man, read Solonin. Next to Solonin is New Game. This was a series that um, it fits that saying, I didn't know I wanted until I read it. That to me was new game. A game dev or like a like a character creator for like an, an animation company that makes video games. And she starts her first job after college. Creative corporate life. I really like that. And it's a really fun series with some pretty relatable topics if you've worked any office job before. I recommend it. The art style is very kawaii. We're gonna use that word right now, but it's still a really freaking good series. I enjoyed it. Okay, back here is Shaman King, the omnibuses. I've, since collecting these omnibuses, I have, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Since collecting up to five of the omnibuses, uh, I've actually started to collect the singles, which are up there. So these I will actually give away at a certain point. Okay, quickly moving on, we have Dead Dead Demons, D -d 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 Destruction. Okay, I haven't started it. I will. Heavenly Delusion. Watch the anime at the time of recording this right now. The anime is up to like episode whatever. It just came out. Okay, please watch it. It's so freaking good. Next to Heavenly, next to Heavenly Delusion is All You Need Is Kill. I still need to read this one. Okay, I think it's the same author as Death Note, I think? Sort of in that position where, yes, there's manga in this collection that I haven't read before, okay? I do wanna just be upfront about that, but I've been making a conscious effort, a really good effort to read everything that I own so that I can start to sort what I wanna keep and what don't I wanna keep. All right, so let's start over here in the left with Spice and Wolf, good fantasy series about the economics of life. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, but no, but, but, but really, that's it's kind of what it is. It's a romance uh, about between like a wolf and a merchant. If that sounds boring to you, it probably will be boring for you. But to me, this is an incredibly well-written romance series. Okay, Doomsday with my dog. Any series about a dog where they have cute dogs drawn on them? Let me show you the cover here, right here. Um, yeah, sign me up. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, Princess Jellyfish. Okay, this is the box set, complete edition. This is very high on my priority list to read. So we're going to quickly brush past this one. I do know that the author has like a biographical manga that's out, I believe. Call of the Night. This series, I, it took forever for me to get into, and I wish I didn't wait as long as I did. But it doesn't matter now that I'm reading it. It's such a freaking good series. It's an interesting take on a romance uh, vampire trope. It's cute, okay? Check it out. The anime is on High Dive? I think Yoshi no Zukikata, the frog in the well, does not know the ocean. What is this, a freaking light novel? This is by the same creator as a series that I'm pretty well known for, for talking about online, which is Barakuman, uh, which I actually, I don't freaking know where that is on my collection right now. There's, I have so much manga volumes. Welcome to the NHK. All right. Uh, this I bought on a whim while I was out vlogging. Uh, more to say on this as I read it. This is a part of my collection that has a really wholesome story behind it, okay? If you guys are new to manga collecting, Air Gear is one of those old school stories that is really well done, but it's really difficult uh, to collect certain volumes from this, okay? And when I mean really difficult, when anyone in the manga collecting 
we universe <laughs> sort of says really difficult, what they really mean is expensive. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, they mean expensive. Sometimes there's like some weird finagling happening, like, uh, you know, the Chainsaw Man debacle during the pandemic where it's like, okay, maybe not expensive, but like, you just can't get your hand. I'm rambling. Someone actually sent me everything that you see here. So that's all of the omnibuses. Okay, and some single volumes, all right, starting from 19 to 20, 21, 22, 23, and 32, okay? Laid Back Camp, I love this series, okay? So if you like Slice of Life, you probably have been familiar with Laid Back Camp or Yuru Camp for a long time, okay? Days on Fez is very much like a Laid Back Camp in certain elements where there's like camping, Slice of Life stuff, but really what this one focuses on is like the live music and festival scene in Japan. Uh, Yotsuba, what can I say about this one? It's a charming slice of life. I really need to get into it, okay? I'm waiting to get a few more volumes before I do a proper read of it. Natsumi's Book of Friends. Okay, this is volume two. I tried to get as close to volume one as I could. Volume one's kind of difficult to get. All right. I enjoyed the anime so much that I wanted to get like a physical representation of what I liked to just like have on my shelf. If you wanted to get all of Natsumi's Book of Friends, it's possible, but it's expensive. Volume one of Nichi Joe. I'm gonna get the anniversary box set, which is why, as you can see, I only have the first volume here. Once I do get the box set, I'll probably be giving away the first volume, okay? Kaiju number eight, all right? I remember the hype around this when it first started coming out, all right? I will admit I bought into the hype, as you can see here, volume one. It's not that I didn't like the series, I'm just okay. Remember, we're in, we're in our budgeting era here. Um, I'm just gonna read it digitally. I see no need for me to collect this physically right now. However, I know a lot of you guys like this and it's actually a really good series. Going on over, there's correspondence from the other end of the universe. This was low key mid. I don't think I would recommend this series. We, yeah, let's just move on. It wasn't that great. I bought it on a whim while out vlogging and hey, not everything you pick up when you're out vlogging is gonna be great. So I learned that lesson. All right, but next to that one is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. For some reason, these are so expensive for, I mean, you can see how skinny that volume is compared to like the ones surrounding it. I love the series, okay? Really good, all right? Truly from the bottom of my heart, I enjoy it. I just would only buy this on sale. Random volume of Nanan Biorin that I forgot to <clears throat> organize. Die Dark, another random volume of Die Dark that I forgot to organize. All my Die Dark stuff is literally behind the Dori Doro thing. This is the Kurosagi Delivery Corpse Service. Really good series if you're into like horror, mystery, thriller. I recommend this one. Great Teacher Onizuka, the original run, Tokyo Pop. This is the only one I have of that one and this was a gift, which means it's even more priceless and it just it's a treasure of my collection i want to find a way to display this creatively when i do my manga reorganization thing so yep there is that but this is gto such a freaking good series this is 14 days in shonen and this is the early years i only have a few volumes of each in fact i only have one of the early years but i eventually will fix that dot hack one of the original isekais this is a good series check it out there's a bunch of video games in this franchise as well initial d hey this bugs me you see that Okay, Tokyo Pop, what the heck is up with this, okay? I don't, what what, it, what what are we doing here? So I got Rave Master, Zatch Bell, and there's the rest of my Sergeant Frog right here. This is like to be continued. <laughs> this is like, you know, it's like next time on Dragon Ball Z. This is that version of my collection. All of this stuff, I gotta continue collecting. All right, so we are moving on over to, I mean, this is the final bookshelf before we do all of the box sets. So there's a lot to dive in here. And this is chaotically all over the place. It looks nice. Filled. I guess I should have said filled. It, this shelf looks good when it's 100% occupied by manga. I like that look very much like this one. The vibe continues over here, but there's no real theme. There's no direction with this shelf. Okay, so let's just dive into the chaos. In the corner, Penguin in House. Okay, if you like cute series that are fluffy with like no real direction kind of sort of, but it's cute and funny, this one's for you. I bought those at Kino Kunio. Hell's freaking paradise. The anime is so good. I'm content with being anime only uh, and then reading the rest. Golden Kamui. This is one that I've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Tried to make up my mind several times on collecting Golden Kamui physically, okay? I will read it all one day, but I just don't know if it's going to be digitally or physically. Boogie, when are you gonna read JoJo's? Boogie, when are you gonna watch JoJo's? JoJo's this, JoJo's that, blah, blah, blah. This is the year that I will most likely read JoJo's. Not daunting from the size of JoJo's, believe me. I mean, come on guys. I, 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 
if you can get into One Piece, you can get into JoJo's. For me, it's just a matter of like, you gotta be in the proper headspace to get into these things. And I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Blue period. Listen, I've been to art school before, okay? I, I was a music school student. I don't need to relive that, okay? I'm good, but it's actually a really well done series, okay? So I might, I might collect more of it, uh -huh, I might. Moving on is Inuyashiki. Same creator as Gantz. This is on the list to buy more of, in fact, okay? This is not on the priority list to collect, okay? I might one day just pick them all up just to have, like if I, if I find them on clearance somewhere. It's just not a priority. I don't know what to say right now. I would rather you guys, it's a good series, don't get me wrong, okay? Mikey, hello? great character, whatever. Like, it's a great series. But if you were to read a better version of Toku Revengers, in my humble opinion, you're gonna wanna go with Erased. Black Lagoon. I really wanna get into this one. I'll probably buy more volumes as time progresses, okay? Kaiji. This is a really good gambling series. Crazy Food Truck. I ex wanted more. I'll be honest with you guys. And more meaning not from the story. The story's fine. It's a food series. It's great. Okay. But in more volumes, it's a very short series. Continuing on, we have Asadora. I have got to get back into reading and collecting Asadora. In fact, I, I, I don't think I'll write that down. Children of the Whales. Okay. This was gifted to me. Read a bunch of this digitally. Please read this series. It is so freaking good. Moving on over Happiness. Oshimi. This is seriously such a bingeable series. I will wager... Most of us have read this. If we have all of the volumes, you've read this in a weekend or less. Doubt. Whew. Where do I begin? This is a partner series with a, another manga called Judge. I want to save any reservations I have until I read both Doubt and Judge. Zom 100. All right, I have a few volumes of Zom 100, five volumes here in the corner. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more. I feel like I understand what it's doing. It's a zombie apocalypse. There's an office worker that hated his life and now he has a bucket list of stuff he wants to do before the zombies get him. Personally, I wouldn't want to buy any more physical volumes for it, okay? I know I'm being picky, but I'm in that era where it's like, yeah, it's time to be picky. I have a lot of manga. <laughs> so we're gonna continue on 20th century boys. Naoki Urasawa. This is on my priority list to read. All right, I've had these two volumes forever, and now with 21st Century Boys out, it's time I'm gonna do it, all right? Now, we've talked about Shaman King in this video. It's a nostalgic series for me, and I stopped collecting the omnibuses to collect the single volumes. This is the progress that I have so far, okay? For now, it's a slow grind, okay? Moving on. Blue freaking Exorcist. I don't know where the recommendations have been for this series. I don't know why it took you guys forever to recommend me Blue Exorcist, but I remember not too long ago, Honestly, not too long ago, I checked out this series and I was like, where have you been? It's so good. Now I've read the majority of it digitally on the Viz app. I'm starting to collect it physically because the art is gorgeous in Blue Exorcist, okay? Okay, Prince of Tennis. I really wanted to collect this at one point and then you realize just how many volumes there are. I'm okay with being an anime only, at least right now, if I move into a much bigger home and I can have like even more shelf space than what I have here right now that you see today. Okay, I'll get the rest of Prince of Tennis because it's a really good sports series, but I have other priorities. Claymore, this is Claymore, the box set that you can see right up there. That is right here because I was reading it and I just wanted quick access. I didn't want to have to like bring that down every time I wanted to read it and then put it back up every time I was done reading it. No, so this is what I do. This space right here is reserved for box sets which we'll go over at the end of the video. But if I ever want to take a box set out and then just like have ease of access, right? Where I can just take it, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I put it here. This is that moment on the shelf. And uh, Space Brothers, um, this never got an English release. This is like the only volume of I have it. I can't read Japanese, so. Um, but I did want a a token of appreciation for a series that I enjoyed the anime so much of. And it's, it's, it's very good. I recommend the anime. You can't buy an English copy of it. If you can read Japanese though, uh, yeah, I mean, please buy it. Okay, so this is the Berserk shelf behind me. Let's talk about it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have painstakingly collected all of the single volumes of Berserk. No, I did not go the deluxe route for Berserk. I know a lot of you guys are like, why didn't you do that? But like I mentioned before in today's video, I prefer the single volumes of stuff, the paperback editions of things. 
I love having all of the singles, but there's one issue that I have. Okay, so let me just put this manga or this, this coffee next to the manga here for a second. Now, this shelf was a little too wide, okay? And by that, I mean all of the single volumes, I really wanted to only have Berserk here. It's something I gotta, I gotta deal with, okay? Berserk, all of the singles end somewhere over here, and I actually had to fill up that space with Hinamatsuri, which is a series I love. I love Hinamatsuri. It wasn't what I envisioned. So when I eventually redo this collection and I just try to, you know, finagle some things around and just reorganize it, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, maybe I should put this coffee down. I've had way too much freaking coffee. Ways Berserk, I have all of the single volumes there right here. And then Hinamatsuri, which is a comedy slice of life series with drama elements into it. It's really well done. I, I've probably talked about Hinamatsuri so much. I'm like that Hinamatsuri guy on the internet. Okay. I'm probably responsible for a tiny percentage of those Hinamatsuri sales. Cause to this day, I'll get people that DM me like on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll link them down below where people all the time DM me their hauls or things. And especially Hinamatsuri, when they're in their hauls, they're always DMing me. So that always warms my heart to see it's such an underrated series. And I'm going to use that word. And I, I know, because I know the Hinamatsuri community has an underrated manga. Okay. So next is the Tokyo Ghoul Shelf. This is probably one of my favorite moments of the entire bookshelf or the entire collection that I should say. It's that age old question, right? What was the first manga you ever read? And go ahead and answer that down below in the comments. Mine was, this was the first one I ever bought. Like all of it. I binge watched the first season of the anime. I was like, oh my God, this is good. Realized it wasn't. The anime was utter trash when I read the original 14 volumes and then I binge bought <laughs> uh, Re. Uh, in fact, um, Re was still releasing physically when they were coming out. So I think I only had to wait for the last three volumes to come out. It has a special place in my heart. And now we have new works from Sue Ishida, my favorite manga, uh, by the way, which is Chojin X. Two volumes out for Chojin X right now. Uh, I stopped reading Chojin X digitally and I waited for the physical. One, I knew I was going to buy them all. Why not wait to read them uh, physically? And now that I have two volumes in my possession, what I'm probably going to do, low key, because I'm a filthy degenerate, I'm probably going to read all of Tokyo Ghoul, <laughs> all of it, with the light novels, everything, the OVAs, get everything and be in the mindset of Sue Ishida, and then immediately start Chojin X. Oh, God, that's a lot of reading. But I, it's probably what I'm going to do. Erased was so good. This was sent to me by Yen Press, and there is something that you may have noticed immediately by seeing this on my collection is Boogie. It completes in five hardcovers. How could you have read all of it? You get the ending panel. The story itself finishes at the end of the fourth volume. Wonderful mystery thriller. The last volume over here is one of my favorite series ever, and my jaw hit the floor when the manga got announced because it just came out of left field. No one expected it, but this is Yokohama Kaidashi Kiku. Starting in the corner, we have Summertime Rendering, which is going to be the giveaway, but these are not the hardcovers. These are the paperback versions. Such a freaking good series. I'm gonna be giving away all of the volumes for Summertime Rendering, the complete collection in hardcover format in today's video. Now, next to Summertime Rendering, we have Satoshi Kon's Opus, another chaotically, beautifully dark read. Furthering like this psychological depression route, uh, we have Steins Gate, okay? St so good. It's a very important series when I first started getting into anime and it would lead into me getting into manga. It's put up by Udon Entertainment. Uh, they, they sent me the entire collection, so I have the complete, um, they have Steins Gate in one volume, one omnibus. It's really nice. And then Steins Gate Zero uh, in three uh, omnibuses. And it is it is a nice collection. And they sent it to me both in uh, hardcover and paperback. These are the paperbacks uh, that I have here uh, and the ones that I've actually read. I have my first volume of Vagabond. I'm gonna, I'll read it. You guys keep freaking asking. Okay, I got three volumes of Blood on the Tracks. That's a priority for me to read. Moving on next, I have a series that really, really hit me in the feels and left a very lasting impact on me, which is Silver Spoon, a farming slice of life with some romance. It's so much more than that. I recommend starting with the anime. Okay, so way back here in the corner, we have Skullface bookseller Honda-san. This is probably my number one recommendation for like beginner collectors. It goes over a lot of like really funny instances that are very common. <laughs> basically, it follows a character 
who works at a manga shop in Japan and it, it deals with like the customers, whether they be foreign or, or Japanese. And it's just so interesting. It's not a lot of volumes. And uh, it's certainly not for everyone with the style of comedy and art and the whole nine yards, but it's very educational. Girl from the Other Side, such a freaking good series. These deluxe hardcover editions that are here, man, they are so expensive. I am only gonna buy them on sale. So let's move on. We're down to the last couple shelves here in the video, and then we'll do the box sets. Let's get into it. Okay, starting in the back, there is a uh, Taiyo Matsumoto, number five, right here. This is the loan volume I have of this one. Noragami right here. Oh, it's so freaking good. I will buy all of Noragami. Is it over, by the way? Has the last chapter come out? Is Noragami finally over? I don't I don't know. Either way, this is very high on the priority list for me to collect the rest of Noragami. Such a freaking good series. I highly recommend the anime to see if you're interested in reading uh, Noragami. Okay. Mob freaking psycho. Moving right along, Miss Kozumi loves ramen noodles. It's really cool because this girl goes around Japan exploring like the variations of ramen and how she enjoys it. It's, it's definitely gonna put you in the mood to eat ramen, but you're gonna learn a lot as well. My favorite food series. This is Restaurant to Another World. I recommend starting with the anime here. This is such a freaking good series with some amazing recipes. Touring After the Apocalypse. Good series, brand new, put out by Yen Press. They sent me this one. There's the second volume out right now at the time of recording this video go ahead and check it out if you're at all a fan of girls last tour this will fulfill that gaping hole in your heart after you've read girls last tour Hulk, i wanted more from this series i really did okay moving on over k on these are so cool that they're releasing from Yen Press. The next volume for k -On, the next part of k -On is out. I need to get it. I already have that one written down. I will be buying it. Such a freaking good series. For anyone that's had any musical inclination or past or future with music, this is a must. This is Gunpla. I guess I'm slowly starting to get into Gundam and Gunplus. So there's that. Okay, I wanted to give it a nice little home in my collection to show it off. Go behind the Gunpla. We have some really cool French Shaman King volumes. Gantz is right behind there. Now, the thing is with Gantz, I do have some omnibuses, but I absolutely hate the quality of these omnibuses. So I eventually will like sell a kidney and buy the singles. Spy Family Volume 1, Rooster Fighter. I will never live down the ad I did for a Rooster Fighter with Viz Media. If you've never seen it, bless your heart. Don't go looking for it. And if you have seen it, let's, okay, whatever. Let's continue on. Here. Look back. Same author as Chainsaw Man. This is a one shot. Really, really interesting about uh, two girls connecting over wanting to be mangakas. It's a good, quick read. Black Jack, real account, and a really cool romance. Blue Giant. Okay, I have all of Blue Giant behind here. This is a story about jazz, adventure, how little musicians are paid. Okay, I cannot stress how much I love Blue Giant and how many people have DM me that they've checked it out because of me. All right, I'm not saying that to pat my back at all. I am saying that to encourage you watching that have never heard of this series before to check it out. And last but not least, sneaking behind here, I have all of Ajin. Now this is a seinen mystery thriller sci-fi thing going on. This is really good. I don't regret buying all of Ajin and I will probably reread it at a certain point, and that is why I still have all of the volumes. If you're at all on the fence for Ajin, I recommend checking it out. We've done, we've covered a lot, man. This is gonna be a really long video, all right? We've gone all the way down here. We've checked out my little Gunpla. Ooh, what are you doing over here? Did you move during filming? We're gonna start back here, all right? This is my giant collection of D. Gray Man. This is almost all of the manga. I don't like this. Shonen Jump Advanced. I don't, huh? Huh? That bothers me. I wish it was all uniform either. I like this a little better than that. Okay, you just say Yatsuda. I need to buy more of the manga to get a bigger picture. And before I comment on anything, I just, I want to, I want to read more of this manga, okay? The Horizon. All right, this is Izzy Press or Eyes Press, I should say, not Izzy, but Eyes Press. This is not out yet. At the time of recording this video, this comes out, uh, I believe it comes out July, early summer. This is going to be phenomenal. I think this is gonna do really well. Magus of the Library, the genre of a fantastical world with scholars and magicians and battles and adventure, the whole nine yards. That is like right up my freaking alley and that's why I like so many isekais. It's, 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 it's my thing. 
I dig it, man. And uh, Megas of the Library, the second I started saying that online of like the, the stuff that I enjoy to read, you guys would not stop giving me the recommendation of Megas of the Library. I have not cracked this open yet. I'll be honest with you, okay? Why I'm reading so many light novels right now that are very similar to this premise. Uh, case in point, it's not really too similar, but I'm reading a series that has to do with a lot of books from right now uh, through Ascendance of the Bookworm of a bookworm so i see no need to open this now i am saving this but in my mind i've bought everything already <laughs> i do that a lot i'm uh, moving on over girls last tour only six volumes very melancholy we're gonna use that word melancholy i don't think i'm gonna use that one today it's very very unique it's of the north star i have the first volume uh, i won't get any more until i read jojo's i'm such a fan of tokyo ghoul that i have all the singles boom and now I have the box set for Tokyo Ghoul and I will get the Tokyo Ghoul re-box set. Mm, think of me however you want after with that information, do with what you will, uh, no regrets. Back here is when the real fun begins for me. This was um, one of the first slice of lives that I really had a big emotional uh, impact with. Dude is a professional calligrapher, moves out to the countryside because he wants to escape the competitive lifestyle of Japan. L like, like, let me just show you what one of the spines look like. It's uh, 18 with a bonus volume, so that's 19 volumes in total, but really the story ends in 18 volumes. I will say that the first half is a lot stronger than the second half, but you will be so invested by the time you get there, uh, you'll 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 continue it. And it's not bad. And just look how cool this looks. I'm I'm so happy with how this thing turned out. I am I love my collection, okay? This is light novel central. I don't want to spend a ton of time here uh, just because this isn't necessarily manga, but they're very closely related, okay? We have Ascendance of the Bookworm. This is a fantasy series. I'm really into, um, I mean, obviously, if you're into light novels, you're into isekai, and you can see my tastes that I have here. There's Ascendance of the Bookworm, Mashiko Tensei. I have the Bleach light novel here, ReZero, a bunch of Overlord, um, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai and the Bunny Girl Senpai ones, and then there's the Monogatari series uh, here in the back, all of the box sets back there. Okay, and I've actually only read a handful of that stuff. I, I need to get into them. We've gone over all of this shelf now, and we're going to sit down for the last shelf of the video. Okay, these are some heavy volumes. Have you ever lifted all of Blade of the Immortal? These are heavy. These are bricks, dude. I mean, look at this stuff. These are all bricks. Uh, the only thing I have from Junji Ito, Uzumaki, Soul Eater, the Perfect Editions. I have got to get more of them. Uh, moving on next, we have Battle Angel Alita. Blam, four volumes of Blam, six volumes of Knights of Sidonia. Read them in whatever order, okay? I recommend starting with Knights of Sidonia, but you can read them in whatever order you want. There is single volumes for both of them, hard to find. Okay, I actually have two of the singles for Knights of Sidonia. It's not impossible, just really difficult to find. But if you want to get these master editions, there are, I mean, the quality is there for sure. And both of them are incredibly good series. Let's go over the box sets let's start we started there last time let's start here this time okay quality box that i own it comes with so much and these hard covers are immaculate so good over here are my art books um this is a random music book that you don't really need to care about it just means a lot to me uh this is a tokyo ghoul and tokyo ghoul re art book this is the one piece cookbook right here really good i'm gonna do a lot of tiktoks where we're gonna make everything in that book. <laughs> this is a uh, slime, okay? That time I got reincarnated as a slime. This is the card game. Um, actually, it's not the card game. This is the, the wise card game, as you can see uh, right there. This is the only thing I own from this series. Uh, the light novels are really good. Um, these are the cards though. Claymore is up there. Claymore, we've talked about Claymore before. Claymore's here, Claymore's there, Claymore's everywhere. Uh, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. Demon Slayer, all right. Bleach, this was the most recent box set I completed. All right, so I've read all of Bleach now. Good. Rushed ending, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, no hate. Some Gumpla up there. And now we're moving on over to uh, the One Piece. This is all of the One Piece box sets that you've seen before in the video. Oh my God, we finished it. Dude, I was recording forever. This is my collection. Welcome to my house and my life. I know a lot of you guys just put these collection videos on in the background and that's totally okay. And hopefully you guys got some recommendations out of this or at least a few of you. The only thing left to do is the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away all of the volumes for summertime rendering just in the hardcover edition. This will be worldwide. I'll select someone at the end of the month to ship them out to. So to enter, just do the following. Make sure you've liked the video and subscribed down below. Comment on your favorite manga that I have in my collection or if you can 
can add a manga to my collection, what would that be down below? Last but not least, make sure you are following me over on Twitter. I will respond to your comment at the end of June, okay? And I will have you DM me over on Twitter. But with that being said, I have to go edit this monstrosity of a video and hopefully this gets out soon to you guys, all right? So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!